Now, let's talk about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. So, Jennifer Lopez went to Ben Affleck's new place this week, and while she may have stayed late, she didn't spend the night. The single was spotted arriving at her hubby's rental on Brentwood Wednesday after his kid's graduation ceremony, and it looks like it was a family affair because she wasn't rolling solo, we're told Ben's ex-wife Jennifer Garner was also in attendance. Okay, so no sign of any of the kids, but... Jennifer Lopez, by the way, was spotted leaving Ben Affleck's house at 10 p.m. All right, so in other words, there was no sleepover with her hubby, which kind of jibes with what we saw earlier in the day at the actual ceremony itself, where Ben and Jen seemed to be keeping their distance, arriving with separate parties. Okay, so TMZ also says that while Jen ended up leaving Ben's place with the driver late on that night, she didn't look all that glum. In fact, you could argue she was somewhat radiating on her way out. Okay, so this is very interesting that Jennifer Lopez got to be attending Ben Affleck's house right after the graduation ceremony because I have a feeling that the reason to why Jennifer Lopez ended up attending Ben Affleck's house is because I believe that Jennifer Lopez wants to fix things out with Ben Affleck. Because if Jennifer Lopez really doesn't want to work things out with Ben Affleck, then Jennifer Lopez would not be stepping a foot in Ben Affleck's house in the first place. And I think it's so freaking awkward, by the way, that Jennifer Lopez would be there in the same house that Ben Affleck's ex, Jennifer Gardner, is in, by the way. Because... I think that it would definitely be somewhat of a conflict that Jennifer Garner and Jennifer Lopez would be bumping into each other in the same household, especially in the same household of Ben Affleck, especially, because I can imagine that the both of them were like, oh my God, what is she doing here? And oh my God, this is so awkward. You know, I mean, I can be mistaken, but that's what I definitely think. And if I were Jennifer Lopez, I would definitely walk out of that house immediately if I would have seen Jennifer Garner. But I think that what Jennifer Lopez was trying to do with Ben Affleck was she was like, okay, hubby, I know that we have issues and I know that things have been going very sour, but I think that we can work things out. We should not go towards the path of divorce because I don't think that's going to be healthy for me and I don't think that's going to be healthy for you either, especially because you are an alcoholic all right so please please accept my reconciliation request from me okay i think that's what happened i don't know uh another thing that i have to say too is the fact that jennifer lopez got to leave that house at 10 p.m is kind of suspicious to me because i mean 10 p.m i mean is kind of latish in my opinion i mean i can imagine that the conversation between jennifer lopez and ben affleck might have been kind of long in that little get together in that household i'm just saying and i can imagine imagine that jennifer garner was just sitting there like hmm interesting interesting she might have been like the judge of the argument or the judge of the conversation in between the both of them in my opinion i don't know but anyway um one thing that i can also say though is that you know ben affleck he is a very smart guy. I think that he wouldn't really get into an argument with Jennifer Lopez. Definitely not. I think that he would just keep it cool and be like, okay, you know what? Let's just keep keep it up with the conversation another day. I mean, I know that things are getting very weird in between me and you and the end, you know? I, that's what I think could happen too. But anyways, um, this is very interesting and I think that this love story is never gonna end in my opinion. But.